Hey guys, it is DGD Doll Gamer Dill, and welcome back to another part of this Resident Evil 5 uh, walkthrough slash let's play video. So, in the last part, we took on the giant bat creature, and now we are ready to proceed into the next chapter. So, uh, we upgraded the handgun as well as the shotgun, the rifle, and I think the machine gun, as well as Sheva's stuff, and we are just about good to go. So, let's go. Get ready for the next chapter. This one's gonna be a little bit crazy. I heard about Irving. Tough break. Yes, but there will be other opportunities. Sheva to headquarters. This is headquarters. What's your situation? There's a high probability that Irving is on his way to an oil field in the marshlands. We're rejoining Delta Team and heading there now. Understood. Uh, we've got company. They don't let up, do they? No, they don't. Do what you gotta do to stop them. But don't get too trigger happy or the guns will overheat. If that happens, we'll be an easy target until they cool down. Yeah, I don't know who came up with that technology, but whoever did, saw. Hold on tight. This is Captain Stone, Delta Team. I just received word from HQ. Based on the data you uploaded from that hard drive, most of the town's people have been infected by parasites known as Lascada. The data refers to the infected as much. Ah, shit. Sure. What does all this have to do with Uroboros? <sighs> you got me. They didn't see him. Looks like the only way we're getting answers is from Irving. I mean, personally, the Motorcycle Magini are pretty cool as far as the challenge goes, but personally, I would have loved to shoot some, like, infected lions or something like that. Hang on! Like, I would have loved to shoot some infected lions, cheetahs, uh, you know, just infected animals so we get more of, like, the African feel. For, like, I don't know, because, like, infected wildlife is, like, the best Resident Evil. Like, it may be annoying for the most part, but it's the best overall. But then I can't be too, too trigger happy, and they're literally attacking me from every direction. Like, what? Oh, Jesus.
All right then. <sighs> For a level like that, I would have no choice but to be trigger happy. What could have done this? saying is they got nothing on hell uh Chris and Sheva got nothing on um Leon because Leon did all of this without having to uh use the turret ah shoot I've got the dog Why they decided to put the Magini here, knowing all too well that we don't really have the luxury of trying to focus on more than just one enemy. Shoot, I almost missed it. Again, ha. Oh.
El Higante used Earthquake. I almost missed it. We are not looking too peachy. Yes! Yes! That is excellent. And the gi and the giant has fallen. do this you can still back out what about you I've got a personal stake in this a personal stake Chris look around we should both get the hell out of here I'm not here just for the mission what are you talking about a while back I received some intel that my old partner was still alive at first I didn't know what to think but when I saw the data file from Delta team I knew for sure Jill is still alive that woman in the data file are you even sure it's the same person? We were partners. I'm sure. Wait! Wait! You're not going alone. Why not? Chris, wait! I don't have much time. I have to find her. I'm going with you. These are my people that are dying here. Are you sure about this? A second ago, you were ready to cut and run. I can't just turn my back and walk away. There are no more orders from here on in. It's just us. We are partners. To the end. Now let's get moving. Copy that. Uh, so now I can view the Magini file in the library. Cool. <clears throat> uh, so we took... I don't know if the damage will really matter. Uh, I think they healed themselves. I, I don't know. Uh, that's, we didn't really earn any money, so there's really nothing to do really uh yeah wait what's new oh nice the h and k p8 handgun uh i don't have enough money for it anyway oh that rifle is a beauty And then they got a stu- Oh, sorry. I was going to sc scratch my neck and I hit the- My headset. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Okay. Um. Well, I'm probably going to get my hands on this baby over here. And I'm definitely going to get my hands probably on this. So, but for now, can't do anything because I ain't got no money. Wesker. He was a top official with Umbrella and the leader of our STARS unit. 
I met him again after the Raccoon City incident on Rockford Island. Since then, we've been trying to track him down. Then a few years ago, we got a tip from a reliable source. The whereabouts of Umbrella's founder, Oswell E. Spencer. So we paid him a visit, hoping he'd lead us to Wesker. I saw on that data looked like her. I have to know if she's still alive. You two were close. We were partners. What about you? Why'd you join the BSAA? My parents were involved in an accident caused by a pharmaceutical company when I was young. Morella? Yes. I only found out later that the accident to cover up the manufacturing of biological weapons for terrorists. They we're using Africa as a testbed for their experiments. Bioweapons were responsible for the deaths of my parents. And someone has to pay for that. So you joined the BSAA? There's only so much one person can do. Even a superhero like you, Chris. I'm no superhero. Together, we can end this. Mm -mm. Then let's make a stand for our fallen brothers. Hang on. I mean, I don't know. I feel like they could have just did the game itself. Like, they didn't really need to go with the whole plot line of Jill being missing and or presumed dead and then Chris going to look for her okay? uh out in Africa they could have just told the story they could have just introduced Sheva as a new character as a whole and just told the story that way that's my opinion though oh yeah wait I mean cuz if they were gonna go with that plot line I mean like, that could have just been Sheva's story as a whole, and we didn't need to have Chris in this game. I mean, it was just kind of... unnecessary. Well, let's see if we can find some ammo in this part. Uh, alright, so we got the Beast Slate. Uh... Oh, we got some flowers over here. We can't pick them. And make a nice little flower crown. But this is not Tumblr. <laughs> oh, wait. Hold up. Uh, d -d 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 wait, wait. The corpse of a BSAA agent such a tragedy. His PDA has an unsent message. Schedule report. From the evidence gathered thus far, it would appear that most of Delta Team was wiped out between the time they requested backup and the time we reached the area. One of their beacons was still transmitting an active signal, so we moved to intercept 
so we moved to intercept due to the possibility of survivors. While en route, the beacon's transmission ceased. Judging by the judging by the last transmission, I was about to say false, the beacon should be just ahead of our current position. There is a sealed door currently blocking our route, so infiltration may uh, prove difficult. End report. Jeez. I guess this is the sealed door. Okay. Well, let's get back into the... I don't even know what you call this thing, actually. But right now, we're just gonna call it a boat. Cause... Yeah. All I know is there's a specific name for it, but the, I don't really know right now. So, we have to go to three different areas in order to find the key. But, first, we need to go over here in order to, I guess, proceed with the game. I went too far. I don't know, like I said, that's just my opinion. Like, they didn't really have to go with that plot line specifically. Like, they could have said, okay, well, we're gonna introduce che uh, Sheva as a new character, and then that would have been it. Like, I feel like that would have made the game better, considering the fact that Jill is a main series uh, Resident Evil girl. Alright. So we need, I think, like, three more pieces, so let's go find them. Wait, hold up. Just trying to see if there's any ant. There are any items over here? Uh, nope. Alright, so let's go. Hurry! Roger! Alright. So let's head to the one that's closest to us, which should be over here. Ah, jeez. All right. She can take it. You grab it. Okay. And I can take this because I need it. Take it. Okay. Still hot. <clears throat> what was it being used for? Huh. I mean, this is a tribal area. I mean, what else would it be used for? Probably cooking is what I was what I'd assume. I mean, they got meat hanging over the over here. I mean, come on, Chris. Uh, let's come in here because there's some monies. Oh no, it's a chicken egg. Uh, we don't have. We only got like one thing of health, so she can get it. Probably hasn't been used recently. I guess. Uh. Gonna slash the meat. <laughs> I don't know why. Ah, oh, she doesn't have any Take handgun it. ammo. Roger. Of course she doesn't. She never has any handgun ammo. I see something Excuse me. There. Give me a hand. You're gonna have to wait a second. Uh, there are like 
I think if you boost up here, then it's gonna trigger the enemies. Yeah, because when you boost up here, then you want to turn like right around, because then a whole swarm of them are gonna start coming. So I know there's something up here, so I'm gonna have her jump up here so she can get that. The treasure. And then she can jump up here, because I think we basically got everything. We just make sure everything's reloaded. Right. We got the shaman slate. We got some new enemies, y'all. How could someone do this to them? Nice. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Sheva, you can't be getting hit. Sometimes you just got no one to bail because they are crazy. They got spears. Hurry! Roger. Bye, y'all. Have a nice day. No, I'm just coming, you know, invading. It's hot enough to shoot as it is. What are you shooting at? Nah, we gotta go. I don't know about you, but we gotta go. My thing is, I don't understand why she's shooting. I mean, she knows that we're not staying. Like, we are running. We don't have time to shoot. We don't even have the right ammo. Right now. Or we don't even have enough ammo, I should say. Alright, so we're gonna put this here. Alright, we got the shaman slate. Nice. We need two more. I said th we need like three pieces. No, we need like four pieces. Hurry! Okay. So yeah, we got the new Magini, and that those being the tribal Magini. Honestly, like I said, five. It had so much potential to be a scary game, but it just kind of failed at being that. I mean, if I'm gonna be honest, the only scary part in five is honestly this part. But there's only one specific part that's scary compared to like everything else and that's only because of my own personal fear uh where do we dock again is this an herb nice Yeah, this part is gonna be a little bit annoying. Um, let's just make sure we're locked and loaded. Why am I not surprised that she's out of uh, handgun ammo? All right, let's exchange. I will take the grenade. Yeah.
There they go. Alright, let's try to lead them to us. <laughs> so we can fight them. There they go. Ah, shoot. Okay. Jesus. Jesus. Ah. Can we, like, Sheva, can you, like, you know, heal me up? Like, you know, I'm kind of over here dying a bit. Uh, I'm not even sure if that's how you're supposed to eat eggs, but okay. <sighs> okay, Chris. Uh, yeah, give me, yeah, give me this. I need ammo. Take this. And I will give you. Thanks, partner. That. And give, give me, me a grenade. Use this. Yeah. Why you always got the grenades? I get any of the flash grenades, jeez. Uh, you know what? I owe you one. Yeah, give me the flash me grenades, grenade. but I'm Use really this. gonna be the one who uses the most of them. Uh, yeah. We are really running out of ammo. And now we get the other part of the s of the puzzle, the warrior slate. Now let's get out of here. 
Will any more show up? That was a nightmare, y'all. Come on, Roger. All right. And while I'm in the boat, let me go ahead and just get the other one cuz this is the this is the part where I for whatever reason was always scared to do, but that's only because of my own personal fear. Ah, Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, shoot. I forgot where to go. Oh, wait, yeah. Ah, shoot. Nice. Now there's only one more part we need to go. That is this part. Right over, wait. Let's go to slow. But as a uh, slow acceleration. Yeah, it was this part I was talking about. Oh, jeez, I really hate this part. Because... Looks like we have to go this way. I think these are crocodiles. I'm trying to lure them out. I really hate this part, guys. Because I hate crocodiles. There it is. All right. Yeah, I hate swamps. Yeah. That's like one of my biggest fears, honestly. I think I killed it. I hate that feeling of not knowing what's behind me or in front of me or it's just such an unsettling feeling. Um You got it, Cheva, you got it. Like I said, it's such an unsettling feeling. I always had. Oh well. When I, when I was a kid. Oh my god. You're empty from- oh my god, Sheva. 
You are not that great. Oh my god. Alright, just give me the yeah. Give me a grenade. Take this. Jesus. I need ammo. Use this. Well, that's basically all of our ammo. In terms of handgun ammo, I don't even know if we'll even be able to pick up any more. Oh, this is not good. Okay. Alright. Another piece to the puzzle, the raptor slate, and I think that's just about all the slates that we need. Oh, I hate alligators so much. Or crocodiles. I hate both alligators and crocodiles. They always creep me out. Like I said, it's that feeling of not knowing what's in the ocean. Or in the, um, in the water. Oh, he almost got us. Run, Shava, run! No. <laughs> ah, I really hate this part. I wish it was an easy way to figure out where all the crocs are. Like I said, I can never tell, tell the difference between crocodiles and alligators. Like, that's one thing that <laughs> has uh, held up for me. Like, I cannot tell the difference between crocodiles and alligators. Which is why I hate them both equally. I mean, they're interesting to learn about, but uh, I wouldn't take a whole swamp tour to go see some. Just go see either of them. Just like how I would never go deep sea diving. All right. Well, the door has been opened. Shova. Oh, we're gonna. Whoa. Nice. Alright, guys. I think I'll cut the video off right here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, please remember to follow my Instagram as well as my Twitter, as well as like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content. Content. Uh, once again, thank you, and this is DGD signing out.